Hello everyone! I was to say I was to say good morning but it's not the morning. Uh, uh, yeah usually I film first thing in the morning but today I took uh, I kind of changed my plan I should be honest with the with you I was supposed to head to the back country if you saw my previous video that was the plan and still the plan but um yeah this morning i woke up and i just it was a beautiful sunny day and i just wanted to explore this little town that i am right now uh, every time i'm in this town <clears throat> it's raining or cloudy and it just felt so much different with the sun i just walked by the beach this morning and all that and um, yeah so i decided to stay one more night here and i'm in uh, nelson bc and I'm gonna show you the cute little town like I didn't explore like I didn't drive that much I walked beside the beach but yeah we're gonna go do that um, and show you a little bit what I do in the evening uh, that I kind of prep myself to go to bed and work, what I look for a place to sleep and all that good jazz so I thought that could be a little bit different than usual um, so yes let's go check the town Oh, by the way, if you wonder what's the sound, they are just power washing just the building beside me. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna park here and put a little bit of money in the park rent and see what we're gonna find. Just for this tiny little house beside another one here. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this is why I live in the van. Because of those price. I will not live downtown here, right beside a neighbor for half a million dollars, even more than that. No. All right, we're gonna walk a little bit. This town really remind me of a little bit Quebec City, to be honest. It's really like the old, charming little town. Uh, yeah, I really like it here. So we're gonna walk a little bit further. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go explore a little bit more uh, it was so cute like I said it was remind me of Quebec City so uh, yeah it was quite fun oh talking about Quebec City <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> I, I put an alarm on my phone to call my parents on Sunday because sometimes, you know, when I'm traveling, I kind of forget sometimes to call them. <laughs> so uh, I have to call mom. Yep. Make sure she's not... Uh, she's not worried about me. So let's phone my mom 
<laughs> and be before we go further. Salut, ça va? Ça va. Et toi? Bien. Bien. Mm -hmm. Tu passes une belle semaine? Oui. Vous autres? Oui. All right. Half an hour later. We are good to go now. <laughs> so I have a couple things to go purchase and I want to show you. I could have, it's not going to be like so often that I'm going to show you like a town, like inside a town because I'm not like a town person at all. But when I found a little cute, charming little town, yes, I have to show you. So uh, we're gonna have to go at the beach. Uh, this is the area, by the way, that in my previous video that you saw that I was at um, the Walmart and I had a view of the beautiful lake right beside, uh, like inside the parking lot. This is where we're going. Uh, I have a couple of things to go buy. I'm gonna buy more ice and think at the grocery store. This is a view from the parking lot, which is pretty crazy. I think we're gonna stay here, it's in the shade too. You like it here, Kitty? Look at the road. And the store are right behind us. So I'm gonna go get some ice and a couple little things and I'll be right back. All right, I got some ice. I buy some little pear because it's so good the last one that I bought and I had a little bit of ice left but yeah I'm gonna be I plan on be in the back country and I think I'm gonna be in back country for like probably three days something around that before I head to a small town and I just I did a big grocery yesterday just to make sure, you know, I don't have to buy a bunch of stuff. You know, small town are sometimes expensive. So a little bit more ice just to be on the safe side. And I think we're going to go for a walk after that. And by the way, there's also a little tramway here. Uh, I guess it's a little tourist thing. Uh, I saw it like this morning. So I don't know if I'm going to see it again. Do you want to go outside? So I just move uh, to the little park here. We'll see if Kitty's gonna go outside. Uh, it's got a little bit of car driving close, so I'm not sure if she's gonna want to go, but sometimes she just chill inside and look outside by the window, so by the door, sorry. So this is what we're gonna do. So are you ready to go outside? <laughs> yes, I think you are. Let's open this. There you go. So while Kitty is outside, I just felt to have a little snack, so we're gonna have some popcorn.
And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on it. I like it just plain like this. I might, I might put a little bit of nutrition yeast, in fact. Sometimes I like to put that. Uh, it's just like a, a kind of like vegan cheesy flavor, if you don't know. So I'm just going to sparkle this. It's going to be a good snack outside. Kitty, let's go. We have to go. Let's go. Are oh, you having fun time? <laughs> Seriously, you don't want to leave? Hold on. <laughs> I knew that would work. So uh, usually when I park somewhere around like apartment building, things like this, I always go to bed, like I always go there uh, when I'm ready to go to bed. Um, so right now it's still early, I think it's 7 or almost 8, something around that. Um, and I'm gonna go in the place because it's like a commercial type of area. And I know I'm not gonna have people to, you know, like look at me and I'm gonna be able to uh, turn the light on and read or probably edit a video, in fact. So, um, yeah, this is where we're gonna go. So, um, to be honest, I was a little bit, I was wondering if I was to show you exactly why I'm sleeping tonight because I heard that Nelson was hard to sleep um, and I didn't have any problems so far, <laughs> but, and I slept a couple of times, but um, I think it's all depend of like it, that was the same thing apparently like in Pentington when I was people were telling me oh it's a, a ton hard to sleep uh, they don't want Van Laffer and I didn't like I slept there for like in this town for like a, a week and a half if it's not two weeks and I didn't have any problem or didn't felt like people was kind of like watching me um, I think it's all depend of the season if you go middle of the summer was got a lot of van lifer it could be a problem like eventually they just start of like see like so many people and they just decide to kind of clear out the area or it's just people who uh, park way too long in one area so tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up early because like i want to go in the back country so i'm gonna be out of this place probably around six yeah probably six o'clock or if not before that so um not so worry and right now we almost <laughs> we almost get attacked because it's got so many birds my cat get crazy here <laughs> where all the birds getty did you scare them So I put my divider on the side of the door. This is just a pink styrofoam that I paint black if you don't know. And I put my reflex. So on this side it is, on the side that I put outside, it is the black side. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but this is black. <laughs> and so people cannot sneak inside too much and see my cat if she decide to go I'm not gonna put any on this side because nobody's gonna really walk there this is uh, the airport by the way just a small one so we should not hear too many plane so close this so me I'm just gonna chill a little bit I think I'm gonna start to edit a video and um, yeah go to bed in an hour or two yeah, my cat really liked this place. I have to admit, it's quite cool to sleep like the lake is right there. 
uh, on this side it's maybe hard to my windows are dirty <laughs> and yeah you have the airport here and a lot of birds so can you just like looking at them and we are right in front of some like building like commercial building so yeah nobody's gonna bother us here all right, so I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm pretty much done with editing and Kitty. You uh, see it, yeah. She's uh, she's ready to go to bed. <laughs> um, so if you wonder how I find the place to sleep, I found this one and all that. Uh, this one was in the app iOverlander. That's why I was like, all right, I can. I, I think I can share it. Sorry, just get a bunch of bird flying. I guess. Yeah, noisy uh, <laughs> um, yeah this uh, this location was in the app iOverlander and also I have like maybe two other camper that seems to sleep in this um, on this street right now um, also sometimes I park in front of like apartment building I never park in front of like a single house that's my uh, big no-no um, because people are just like they kind of look more in their street in front of the house and all that but apartment building are good here the problem is like the whole town is built on the hill so <laughs> kind of reduce uh, a lot the amount of place that you can park um, yeah so usually that or commercial area like I am right now is another spot that I sometimes go to uh, all the area like Walmart that you saw previously, they have like a sign that say no overnight parking. Uh, some people were asking me like why did the Walmart stop because of COVID or did they stop the overnight parking? Uh, no, it's because I think for what I know, uh, Walmart is... Um, like each owner of the Walmart can decide if they allowed uh, overnight parking or not here in Canada at least. So some are a yes, some are a no. So it's kind of like um, kind of a case of each one. Uh, same thing uh, with all the other like a big uh, retail store. It's the same too. Some don't want and some want. So um, yeah, so we should be all fine here tonight. Um, when I sleep in front of an apartment building, I don't chat like I am right now. I don't even turn my lights on. Uh, I do have a video that I filmed when I was sleeping in front of an apartment building. So I'm going to link that one if you got a curse to see how I kind of like do it. Um, but yeah, right now, I didn't like I heard like maybe two or three car tonight and it's got nobody here. So should be all good. And tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, we have to leave because we are going to backcountry, which I am. I know I said in a previous video, but I'm really, <laughs> I'm really looking for that road. Um, and should be sunny for at least a good week. So, yes. <laughs> and warm too. I think it's gonna be like 30, 30, 32. So, <laughs> yes, we're gonna go to backcountry and enjoy this beautiful weather in front of a lake or something like this. Uh, so I really look forward for this. And yes, so I will see you uh, in the next video. If you are not already, um, don't forget to subscribe. That really helped me, guys. And uh, it's free, obviously. So <laughs> it's a good support if you want. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye. So far, far from me. Ugh.